Hello everybody and welcome back to some Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character. We're still on the last randomization because I am back to back recording and we get Tainted Judas, which is a character I haven't played in a long while, but a fun one because free, free curse rooms and just free extra damage is always nice. So very happy to have this dude. And honestly, Throwable Black Hole is fantastic off the bat. Um, Really, really good to grab it. Uh, it just, it, the ability to destroy rocks early on is so valuable. Um, I don't know best how to really utilize um, our abilities with Dark Arts in some rooms like this, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, for the question of the day today, what's something that confuses you deeply? What's something that you see, that there's, maybe you might, it doesn't even have to be something you see regularly, but if it's something you see regularly, what's something that like maybe people do or you see on the internet a lot, or just what is something that, that really just confuses the hell out of you so i think that's a really interesting one for me mine is um th this is gonna sound like a really fucking like i don't know is it gonna sound like a boomery thing to say but it, it sounds like i'm an old boy it sounds like I'm, I'm an old bitch saying this but one thing that confuses me is just people's just need to post on social media I, I just, I don't have that need at all. Like, I realize that that seems really weird coming from a person that is literally making a YouTube video at this exact moment, which is technically posting on social media in a way. Um, but, <laughs> so definitely a bit of a weird statement. But, um, I mean, people that, like, use Facebook and, like, feel the need to be like, today I went to a charity shop and I bought a shirt. And it's just like, why? <laughs> and, like, uh, I don't use Facebook anymore. I just, I, I got over Facebook very quickly at a young age. <laughs> I just, it's never been for me. Um, but like, I had a lot of friends on Facebook and my girlfriend still uses Facebook a little bit and she has a lot of friends on Facebook that like, post about their relationship so often and like, so regularly. And it's just like, why do you think people care? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just, I, I'm not saying that, like, people shouldn't be able to. If it makes them happy to do so, that is fine. That's completely fine. In fact, more power to them if it makes them happy to do that. But personally, I just, I just can't understand it. I just don't, I, I don't get why it makes people happy. I don't get why people do it. It's just, it's a very, very weird thing to me. And I've never really understood it. The, the only time I've ever been active on social media is I had an old um, Twitter account when Twitter like was first a thing, or, or first getting popular at least, um, when I was in school. And I used it for about six months, maybe maybe a year. But even then, I only really used it to like chat and mess around with my friends. Like I didn't really use it for anything other than that. And I don't know, it's just... It's just something that I've, I've never really sort of got. It's, it's something that I still to this day find really weird. Like, my um, my mum's really, like... I mean, she, a lot of people my mum's age are big on Facebook. My mum's my really uh, big up on Facebook. She, she uses it daily. She posts status updates and pictures daily, which for her is a little more understandable because she um, she's a baker. Uh, she doesn't own, like, a bakery shop or anything, but she's a, she does a lot of uh, home baking where she, like, makes cakes for friends and stuff, and she's in a lot of, like... Uh, pages um, where they post like different cakes they've made and like recipes and tips and all this sort of stuff that I can understand a little more uh, but even still she like does, does all the status updates and stuff she's, she's even admitted to me that recently she started to um, stop because she was real she was realizing that it was like overtaking a little bit um, I'm just gonna take the strength card I'll be honest I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skedaddle skadoodle um but yeah, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's one of those things that I'm, I'm still, I still find difficult to understand. I still find difficult to like, really get a grasp of why people are so into it. That's, that's, that's a pretty, a pretty good uh, little thing we can do there. Use dark arts to um, kill everything that's inside that. Ooh, hello. Little hand boys. Soul heart there, beautiful. Oh, I lost some money that time. But we gained so many soul hearts that I simply do not care. That was fantastic. He also going to every cash room is so powerful. Okay, we killed everything there. Excuse me, sir. Could you stop jumping far away and creating fire? Went in here for a soul heart, sadly didn't get anything. Magic fingers is unfortunately not something we're gonna be taking. Okay, nice. We'll leave our charge for the boss, I think. Especially if it's a boss that ends up spawning stuff. 
ends up being even more valuable. But yeah, like, no offense to anyone out there that, that does use social media often and, and posts all the time and stuff. Like, if you enjoy it, then more power to you. Like, if it's something you like doing, then go for it. It's just something that I personally don't understand. Like, the enjoyment isn't really something I understand very well. Which I think just makes me sound old, but still. Also, the uh, the electrical thing is actually pretty good for us with um, Dark Arts, because we get a bunch of followers. We can um, set up like a link where we can like dash through enemies with Dark Arts and it'll zippity zap them. It's kind of nice. The extension kill, that's what it's called. I forgot it for a moment. I really like the redesign of this dude. It's subtle, but it's it's interesting. Uh, we'll go Angel Deal here, I think, and we'll, we'll head down the regular path at this moment. What have we done as this guy? So we do need to do Dark Path, so we'll try and do Dark Path if we can. Ooh, hello. The apple, nice. We'll also take this. I don't know where I'm going to use it yet, but we'll take it. This is almost definitely secret room because it's not red key available. I, in fact, I might just hold on to this red key for a little bit to find secret rooms. It's super useful for that. Spawns a golden troll bomb, converts all bombs in the room to troll bombs. That's kind of funny. Um, and then here, we don't know what this is. I'll bomb this, why not? It might be something good. Eh, it's pretty good. In fact, hmm, in fact, that's, there's potential with this. Because if we, if we find a good enough room for it, which we haven't yet, if we find a good enough room to use that in. Oh, hello. I love the little drop down enemies, they're so cool. Also, honestly, getting little Steven, really good for extension cable and dark arts, but also just actually pretty good in general. I think that, um... I think that it does a good enough amount of damage to be pretty useful early game. And we are still very much early game right now. And obviously the fact that it's got Herming as well makes it really nice. These guys got a bit of a rework as well, I like that. We have a bomb now. I'm looking for a large room is what I'm looking for. There's got to be at least one large room on this floor. We'll, uh, we'll do the boss now, though, because we might get um, some good stuff out of this. Also, very, very good boss for this current setup right here. Oh, dude, they, they can escape the uh, they can escape the pull. We do get a soul heart out of this guy, so I don't really mind getting hit. I'd rather not, but... Nothing. Ooh, deal contact damage, though. I don't know how that works with Dark Arts, because technically we don't contact the enemy, so that might not do what I'm expecting it to, but we'll see. We'll see. Power our way through here. Okay, we do have a large room here. I was expecting one eventually. Sticky nickel there. It's a good large room as well. It's got a lot of gaps, but I think it's still pretty worthwhile. Yeah, this one's decent enough. Got some of these nose bugger boys. Potentially not getting too close to these guys because they could set up a trap for me. Anyways, let's check this out. Doctor Shroom, I'm getting pretty sick of all these active items, game. Um, let's use this. Okay, good. Right, then. I want to make our way back down here. And use the golden troll bomb to get the uh, Tinted Rocks. I don't know how many there was. I only saw one. There might be more. Let's do a little uh, a little check around first. We've got one there. And... I, unfor oh, no, we do have two. We do have two. Unfortunately, they're quite far away from one another. Jack loves. Good. Right, now we've just got to, like, find a decent way to push this where we want it to be. Which is going to be slightly difficult, I think. Because it, 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 when it explodes, it bounces in a random direction. So sometimes it just might not go where you want it to. Can you stop bouncing backwards, please? I need you over that way. Try and take out some of these mushrooms. Why not? Damn you. I almost got you in the right spot then. Dude, don't go over the spikes. No, no, no. We want you over that way. Good, good. Okay, that'll take out some of the mushrooms. Hey, we did it, we did it. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty worthwhile. And we got speed up range down. I think I think that's actually pretty pretty good going there. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Got a little bit of extra utility there out of a golden bomb. And made that secret room actually kind of work for us. We should also go back and grab our... Um... Oh god, this enemy's tricky. Especially when it's behind rocks. They do this on purpose. It's big sad. Hello, little ghosty. Yeah, let's go back and get our um, cracked key. Like I said, I'm not really sure. I might just I might just utilize my cracked key as a secret room finder for now, because it is pretty darn useful for that. It like it's not like a hundred percent accurate sort of thing, but you can get a pretty decent approximation of where your secret rooms are if you if you have enough knowledge to know where they might be. Then you can use a use a red key to uh, find out where they are. Like we'll try and we'll try and do it with the second secret room here and see what we can find. So, ooh, we've got a mega chest. Uh, mega chest would be kind of good. Ooh, empty hearts, pretty nice here. Mega chest would be kind of good if we could get um, more keys, but right now we're pretty lacking in keys. So, let's have a little look. See here. Okay, so it's not over there. I think it's off of this back room over here. Also, let's destroy these poops. Oh god, I forget they can spawn those enemies. Sometimes they can drop those little honey pennies. So, I'm pretty sure it's here because there's no red room available there. And there you go. Not very useful for us in the end, but you see what I mean? It kind of applies. Um, I feel like it's a trick that, like, most people most people that know about it are usually too good at the game to need to use it. But it's still cool to it's still cool to use. I think it's a nice little trick that you can uh, take advantage of, definitely. So I'm going to keep it. And the thing is, it doesn't even need to be in the active slot to show you either. But yeah, I think it's something we should keep and try out and try and play around with a little bit. Right. Oh, that's... Don't want to use that here. Also, we managed to get a fly here, which is nice. So, this looks like it could very much be secret room because there's no red there. So, let's try that out. Yeah, there you go. Sadly, we need more bombs now to take advantage of it even more so. Ooh, the little fly attaches with our extension cable. That's really nice. I did not think it would. Um, bombs will drop more often. Ooh, that's really useful right now. That's basically exactly what we were kind of just asking for without really asking for it. Also, this is a good room for these guys. Easy kills and all those. Careful of those tears that are hanging out. E bunch of money. Really good in the money department right now. Kill the fat sewers first. Yeah, because when the, when the flies jumps towards enemies, it's gonna get zap. It's gonna like zap the enemy as well. Remember, these enemies do have a little back sort of pedaling thing they do now when they hit a wall. A new little bit of their uh, their attack pattern we keep forgetting about. Doesn't it's not too harmful, but it could be problematic. Did I see a seek? Uh, no, no tent to drop there. Second secret room isn't in here. Ooh, sadly more chance for good old troll bombs, as you can see. Don't really know what these guys do too much. Okay, they're not too bad. Gonna be some more enemies popping up here. Somewhere? Oh, that's an enemy. Hello. <laughs> I thought it was one of my orbitals. <laughs> that's pretty funny. won't quite grab everything, but it's it's messing your pathing up though, which is nice. Another bomb for us. Okay. Dark arts, that guy. Ooh, I always forget those guys split in half. And these guys are the cloud fellas. He did manage to actually shoot a cloud um, after he died there. Or very briefly after he died, so gotta watch out for that. 
Zappy Zappies. Ice Balls is a great item. Very nice. Still not, not found the second secret room yet here. This is a rather horrible room. I would really like to have um, used my black hole here, but we don't have a charge. Just because these guys can all appear in front of us at once. I don't like that. Not too bad. I'm hoping, yeah, it doesn't pop up too far away. Okay, good. So, second secret room could be here. No, 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 it can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. What am I about? I don't know why that's blocked off, though. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Nice. Cash room here. Good, good. Um, Wicked Soul. 30% damage multiplier. Okay, all good. Bonus curse will be added every floor. Decent. Oh, hello. You were uh, getting aggressive there, fella. And then shop, we definitely want to use. Uh, this is the look upgrade one. I'll definitely take that. And a soul heart as well. Very nice. Right. Still not found the second secret room placement quite yet. Which is odd, because now we've seen all the rooms that it could be in. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I need to do a little bit of a, of a rediscovery of this floor. Let me quickly just bomb these. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um, quick bit of rediscovery here. So, can't be anywhere in this room. Could be off the back of... No, can't be anywhere here. Can't be anywhere there. Can't have been there because there was a poop there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Could be off the back of this room. It wasn't. I was able to check it for free as well anyways. Could be... Okay, there's red room there. And there's a red room there. So it's not either of those. Nothing there, nothing there. So it's got to be off of this room. We got red room. We got nothing. And we got nothing. Okay, so it's one of these two. There you go. Not particularly lucrative, but we spent the extra time to get some stuff anyways. I'm happy about that. I I, I think I think it really is a, a very, very strong and valid strategy. If you don't know where your red room's gonna be, and you find a cracked key from like any other means or any other modded items or whatever. Just hold on to it and use it to help you find your secret rooms. It's it's very, very useful and it's it's very reliable as well, as long as you know what you're looking for. Whereas finding your red room, at least in my opinion, isn't very reliable and is pretty darn difficult. I'm really trying to not get hit here so I can keep my air. Uh, I can get another fly. Because I've, I've got an infested heart right now and I get another fly if I keep it. Decent. And that's very good. Very nice. <laughs> Look at our little thing on our head there. <laughs> that's pretty perfect. But there you go. Another great item. You can go down to the next floor. Keep her going. We got a lot of bombs from that last floor as well, which is nice. Uh, well... well Okay, this is better. So, Black Hole has been really good for combat, but now we don't need bombs. And also, we can get other bombs more easily, so... I don't know, Black Hole's good, Notched Axe is better. 
I love the change that they made to this, rather than it just being like stompy. And it can do damage too, which is nice. But it's just gonna be much easier and more reliable to check our secret room placements, like here. No, nothing. Nothing really does. But this is this is where it really comes in handy having the red key. Because now we don't have mapping. And mapping is, at least in my opinion, like if you don't have mapping, it's so, so hard to figure out what the secret room's supposed to be. More keys is nice there. It's so much harder to find out what the secret room's supposed to be, so taking that out of the equation, or at least sort of making it so it's not as big of a deal, is, is super useful. I don't know why he's dark arts there. That was stupid. I didn't realize how many walls there was between me and everything. We still haven't found it yet, so there's not much point to use uh, notched axe yet. Hello. There's baby, baby, baby there, but we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any money to use on it. Damn. At least I didn't lose my infested heart. I'm going to keep that for as long as I can. I'm playing very cautiously to make sure I keep that. Oh, we got a uh, um, Black Bernie over there. Oh, what the fuck? That was a Brimstone Black Bernie. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I did not realize that was that's what that guy was. Uh, so a secret room could be here? No. Nah. Careful of these dudes doing their little pokey tail thing. God damn. Ah. The amount of active items this game gives me. Just hell on earth. Go, not too bad. Secret room here. There you go. Not a great secret room. Well, at least we found it. Okay. Now, where are we looking for our second secret room? And our boss, for that matter. Probably down this way. Yeah, we haven't been down here yet. You guys aren't too bad. You are your big head. I love those enemies. They're so cool. Bank Depth has some really cool enemies. Ooh. It's like filling up the pipes and stuff. Pretty cool. Pop out those lads. Before the poop regrow. I, I just about got it. Soul Heart there is rather nice. Grab that, because that'll at least... I would say that'll at least fill up our um, Infested Heart, but it will not. Oh, God. Okay, so we've got a Brimstone one. These, this is interesting, because this is different to how they used to be. They got they got changed in a patch recently, it looks like. They used to have like a little icon above their head to tell you what bomb they were going to use, but their sprite didn't change. Whereas now they actually have a unique sprite for each bomb upgrade that they're using, which is much, much better in my opinion. Looks way better. Good addition. Right. That was tricky. Um, second secret room should probably be off of this. In, de in fact, it's definitely off of this room. I don't like how close you're getting to me, sir. Just a bunch of hearts. Dash dang. Right. Boss time. Ooh, what the hell's this boss? We lost our infested heart. I was expecting it on a new boss, to be fair. It's like a slightly eviler version of Monstro. Oh, and is it Gish? Interesting. Yeah, it's like a new version of Gish. That's pretty cool. Champion Gish. 
Wasn't expecting it, but it's very cool. One second. Right, let's continue onwards. We didn't get an extra fly, sadly, which is a little upsetting. But things are going well so far here. I'm liking our odds of finding some interesting secret rooms. With the fact that we're basically finding every secret room on every floor. Nothing there. I like the fact that the uh, eyes item can make it so that you can... Wait, is this a double-sided? No. Uh, so the eye saw item can make it so you can use the pickaxe more than once. I think, that, I think that's pretty funny. Damn. We're not getting very good secret rooms right now. I'm really holding out for a good one. That was an incredibly good chest. Wow. Yeah, I'm really holding out for a good one here, but nothing yet. Ooh, this is an interesting room. Careful for all the creep. I've not seen those, like, sideways spewers before. Okay. I wonder why... What, what, what's this room doing? How come that's not a secret room? Okay, we definitely need a bit more fire rate as well. Fire rate's lacking a little bit. Or, like, a tier effect on modify or whatever. Hey, we got a morbid heart, which we can't pick up, sadly. Damn. There you go. Thought that was there. This is a pretty interesting room. Bunch of harder enemies and then a bunch of these little dudes that we got to kill before we can kill them. Which is proving to be quite difficult, honestly. There you go. I really like these dudes. These, they're kind of like little trash robots. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe them. That's a bunch of copper bombs. I'll take it. I'll go for it. Right. Take on mom here. Slap that on you. Uh, we do get some extra procs from electric dice of our actives here, but I think both of our actives don't work on multiple uses regardless. That was a really bad hit there. Damn, now I could pick up the morbid heart. I wish I could go back and get it. So I think we're doing dark path here, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing dark path. I will check out uh, a devil deal here. Um, <sighs> Guppy's head is good, but honestly, notched axe is so much better right now. we got in here. Ooh, we got a bunch of these things. I really like those enemies. We got a lot of damage up out of those as well. And I think we have the, um, ah, Sacred Heart Swingers Room. Lovely. Um, I think we have the Curse. Oh, no, we have, so we have Curse of Darkness and we have the, yeah, we do have the one that can make it into champions. So we're going to get, uh, on average, more champions on this floor. But the champions do have the same drop chance as they regularly would, so we are seeing an increased rate of uh, pick up consumable production out of it. So it's not as, it's not an all bad thing, but when it does that, it's not exactly friendly. You walk into a room and it makes every single enemy <laughs> into a champion. Even, like, even ones that can't normally be champions, I think. Slightly tricky room here. Let's uh, hold off on getting too aggressive with these guys. I really, really like the, uh, the the visual and audio cue of uh, an enemy turning into a champion. That's one thing I have to say. I mean, I I, I, I praise Prian and his collection collections all the damn time because they're fantastic. Uh, but he, there's so much extra, like, little flair and flavor to a lot of his mods. Like, he goes the extra mile to, like, add custom charge bars to items that have charge bars and, like... To to add in things like these visual effects to... Oh, did you just eat that enemy? Holy shit. Um, to add, like, these visual effects to these curses. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, all of his curses have some sort of unique visual effect. Because, like, the, the the one where the pickups fade have the um, have the little purple icon above. This has the little icon and sound when an enemy becomes a champion. Um, the, the silhouette one has its own unique silhouette animation. Just a lot of really good stuff. Ah, 
I really like the extra additional effort that goes into these things. Mix all that sort of stuff in, in basically any scenario, whether it's the, the, the vanilla game or mods or what, that stuff is is really where what like makes makes them feel so much better. The little things, the little touches you can add. It's not like you have to, but like it it, it accelerates, it takes what could be a very good mod into an excellent mod. It's the same with Fiendfolio. Fiendfolio has done exactly the same thing where they took a really, really good mod. Oh God. They took a really, really good mod and they added just so much additional flair. Like just the the addition of having these screws in in the, the scarred womb is so, so cool visually. It just fits the theme so well. And yeah, they just done such a good job of adding all these, oh my Lord. Adding all these tiny little details that just make everything feel way more on theme and better, which is a hard thing to do. Taking taking the base game and adding to its theme uh, like accurately without taking anything away from the experience or like going over the top and ruining it, it's not an easy thing to do in any way, shape, or form. And yeah, I think Fiendfolio and uh, Prian's mods do a fantastic job of doing that, adding that extra little flair and adding to the feel of the game, really making them fit in. And honestly, like... I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see Prian with his cursed collection possibly add some new curses um, as, as, as he goes down. I don't know how much modding he's doing at the minute, uh, but if there was ever a time like that he wanted to come back to it, do some more, um, some more curses, but also maybe make some changes to the vanilla curses to kind of update them to be in line with his modded ones because honestly these modded ones are so much better than the vanilla ones that it'd kind of be nice to see some of the vanilla ones reworked with some additional effects or just reworked to be a bit less janky i don't know how easy that would be i'll be honest but that would be really cool as part of the mod as like an optional thing you can turn on we're doing pretty all right at the minute we're kind of stomping through most rooms really i kind of wish i had black hole at this point though like I, I am glad that I put it down, but I tend to not find secret rooms on the womb, mainly because I just tend to not explore all of the womb. Like, I very rarely do. Um, is there a button here I should be using to get through all this? Maybe, but I'm just going to whack my way through it regardless. I'm also looking forward to see what comes out of the reworked furs mod. That mod seems to be getting very, very regular updates. Uh, the one that changed the Sims, and I was, it, it got in my mind because I saw the lump there. That's that's something where they've basically it sounds it's, it does sound rude to Edmund and and the people that made Isaac, but there is a lot of enemies in this game that have pretty lazy designs that aren't really all that interesting, and they don't really provide any additional challenge or additional gameplay elements. They're just another copy and paste of something else that already exists, essentially, but a different color or something, or they appear on a different floor. So all the flair that that the, they're adding to these mo these enemies that's another thing that's really impressive. They're keeping everything like cohesive and consistent while making entirely new enemies with entirely new designs out of existing ideas and designs that are already there without like the crutch of it is without ruining the aesthetic that was already established that's that's the hard thing like it's like tip tip for example let's uh, let's look at um some of the mini boss ones like if, is it um lust that can use pills and like it uses vanilla pill effects and then like bomber boy that can use actual in-game bombs that, that just adds an infinite amount of extra flair to those mini boss fights that just it, it makes them so much more fun and enjoyable and interesting to see and while some of them it might not strictly make them any harder it just makes them more of an interesting fight rather than the same humdrum and you may attribute some of that to being oh well it's new so of course it's going to feel better like it being new this is really cool these guys like heal it being new just makes it feel better by default which is kind of true obviously if you refresh something make it feel new it's gonna feel more enjoyable to see uh, so that is that is partially true, but I think just the fact that they've done such a good job of it is what really makes it. We do have some copper bombs here. We have quite a lot of copper bombs, so I'm just going to use as many as I can and see if we get any procs. I was just about to say, of course that one blows up and doesn't hit, but it actually did hit. Uh, we're going dark path here, so let's go down. I almost went straight up the light there, even as I was saying it. Even as I was saying it, I almost went straight up the light. Uh, right, one second. Right, let's push on forward. 
We can go to the cash room here as well. What the hell's that? Um, someone's one to three blots. Ooh, okay. I know that the um, thingy's extension cable's good, but having this seems pretty cool. These enemies are a bit tricky. Good job we can do that to them. Spawn three of those pair of rooms. They're not very useful, but like three pair of rooms, pretty good. What on earth are these skulls? They're tricky is what they are. Just get the hell away from them, I think, is the best course of action. So we are losing quite a bit of health here, which is a little concerning. Okay. Is that is that dude duplicating? Oh my god, he is. That was really cool. That dude, like, that thing in the middle, like, picked an enemy to start duplicating. Ooh, that's really cool. What the hell are you doing, sir? Oh my god. I did not see that coming. He's gonna duplicate. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. It's deadly as shit, but it's really cool. Also, my little dudes are doing a decent job here. These guys can teleport. Interesting. We've also a master. Yeah, we've amassed an insane amount of our little guys here. I mean, they're all gonna die in this room, I think. Oh no, we got we got a few survivors. Not many, but a few. Ow. Dude, the, them, them little things are brutal. Holy. Also, this guy's pretty horrible to get here, here as well. We got him eventually, but very tricky. Jawbreak is good with decent luck as well. But still, I'm liking my little dudes right now. Okay, boss time. Damn you, Copper Bomb. Not only did you blow up and was missed time, but... Ah, oh, that was annoying. They're out of Copper Bombs now. It'd be nice if... The, like, I, I realised that, like, this is probably way beyond the scope of what's possible in Isaac modding. But do you know what would be really cool to see? A mod that had a way of letting you select which bomb you use, like the way you select which card you use. Because there is now, like, there, there was already two different types of bombs in the vanilla game, and you just have to use the next one available. So if you find a Giga Bomb, you just have to use it. But there is now in Fiend Folio, like, another two on top of that, I think? There's Copper Bombs, isn't there another one? I don't know, maybe. It might be a bit too much effort, but it'd be nice if you could choose when you could use each bomb. But then, I suppose... Part of the part of the thing of copper bombs is that like you don't get to choose. Also, we are probably gonna die on the next floor. We also unlocked ceremonial blade, which honestly, I don't know how I unlocked that because I thought I don't know. We unlocked it. Good. Devil's Tail. Taking damage to an empty heart container will remove all empty heart containers and give half a black heart. What the hell? Does that even work for us? Um, fiend Mix. Transforms half your health into fiend minions. I did not mean to pick that up. I am dead. That was a good end. <laughs> I just walked directly into it. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I hope you guys enjoyed this regardless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.